Hey everybody, welcome back. I am so glad that you decided to join me. Today, I'm going to share with you a finished item and some works in progress. Just, just one, well, two works in progress. But one of them is a big project that I'm working on. The other one is a small project that I'm working on. None of these are hats. I have just kind of put hats aside again for a while. I have not messed with hats since the last time I told you about hats. I'm just not in the mood to make hats right now, I guess. I do have several started, but that's where they're at. They're just started. They're not finished. I will finish them when I feel like it. So, anyway, I decided I wanted to do some Tunisian crochet. Actually, I started out with a knit pattern. It was a knit um, neckerchief. Uh, I tried multiple times to start the pattern. It was one that I found on Ravelry. I tried multiple times and I just, I could not get it. I don't know if the pattern, <coughs> they did have a notation on Ravelry about an error in the pattern and I did correct that in the pattern, but I'm wondering if there's more errors than the one that they mentioned and corrected because I tried two nights, a couple hours in a row, two nights in a row to get um, that started and going and I could not it just my numbers were not adding up to what they said they were supposed to be and I'm not sure how you get an even number out of seven but I don't know I finally gave up and set that aside for now might revisit that in the future but I'd rather doubt it but anyway, after that, I decided that I wanted to do Tunisian crochet. So, I scrolled through my Ravelry stuff and found a Tunisian crochet project that I have had in my favorites for some time now. And I decided to create it. Now, this was using a double-ended hook. Um, it uses an eye double-ended hook. And is a double-thick pot holder. You know, like the crochet ones where you start with the chain and just go round and round and round. <coughs> around and around and around and you fold it in and sew it and you got a double thick pot holder. This is what this was. I kind of followed the pattern but I kind of didn't follow the pattern because I just used the numbers. The pattern actually does the Tunisian knit stitch however I did the Tunisian simple stitch because when it said double ended hook I was like oh two colors yay! Now see if I would have done the knit stitch it would have just been a one color project, but since I did the simple stitch, I have a two color. Well, it's actually multicolor, but I used different, two different colors of yarn. So here's the first one that I did. I like the front side, but I'm not real happy with the, the bind off on the back side. So here's the front side. I really like that. I like how that was done right there. The beginning stitch. I mean, the beginning row. That was like, I like that. I can use that for other projects. Here's the back side. Now, if said to use a single crochet to bind it off, I kind of did that. I did this, the the uh, slip stitch method of going through and pulling through, like joining granny squares, but it left a, a ridge, and I'm not real happy with that. So, the next one, and I did put a loop on it. This is my uh, return stitch. Instead of just trying to figure out how to tie it off, I made a loop on this end, and then I seamed it together with my forward stitch. So there's that one. I think it turned out really cute. I like the way the colors on that are, and I don't know the the uh, return stitch, which is the, the variegated, is a Bernat, some Bernat cotton that I got a big old huge, huge thing of. And I'm still working through. It's the uh, Bernat Handcraftier, and I don't know what the color way is on that. I don't happen to have the, the ball band with me because all I have left is a ball. I have enough to do another one of these. And then the green, the, the uh, forward stitch or the simple stitch here, I don't know what it is. It was some that was given to me that was wound up in a big old huge cake. <laughs> I've got a lot of that left. But, yeah, I thought those two colors went really well together. I like the way this turned out. 
Like I said, the only thing I would change on it would be the, the finishing right here on the back. So, since I like that so well, and several people that I shared it with really liked it too, hmm, somebody might get it for Christmas. The next one that I did, I am using some more of the Bernat Handcraftier. This is, I have the label on this one. I've used this, last year I used this to make that potted plant holder, um, which never did go to the fair. I never did finish it. Maybe this year, or maybe next year. But this color on this one is psychedelic. Yeah, psychedelic. These are my colors. I like it. And I am also using this sparkly black to go with it now this black i have more don't worry this is not going to be enough but i do have more um this is an i love this cotton spark and it's called black sparkle so that's what that is i've had this a while but i put these two together and i only did a little bit and i did not work on this today actually even though I had it with me, I decided to work on the other project that I'm going to show you. But here's what I have so far. You can kind of see the sparkle. Sparkle in there. Of course, there's not, I only got like, what, two rows? <laughs> but I think this one's going to turn out just as amazing as the first one. And this one, I actually do have the correct number of loops. The other one, I'm supposed to have 30. I have 29 on the other one, which kind of messed me up. But this one I counted and made sure, and I even put stitch markers. <laughs> These are the last loops of the 30, so they're on to 30. So the next loop up would be one. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, finishing this one and seeing how it turns out. Which, who knows, it might be another Christmas present. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs> the project that I did most of my work on today... Actually, all of my work on today was the one that involves this yarn. And I, I do have a ball band. This is Big Twist. This is Big Twist. And the color on this one is Rainbow Bright. And this is the one that I am doing the big project on. And this was a much larger ball today. I made a bit of progress on this. This is my, got to find the hook. I don't want to pull it out. This is my Tunisian 10 stitch blanket that I'm working on. Oh. Let me finish this row here. I'm doing a return stitch. It'd be easier if I just finished it so that I can make a really big loop instead of being in the middle of a row to share it anyway. I have. I do not. I must have used it. Oh, well, we should be all right with that. But anyway, I'm using, I believe this is like a, a size in hook. But last time you guys seen it, I was down here on this corner. So I've gone all the way here. I did another corner. And I'm almost to the next corner. <laughs> so I've made some decent progress. <coughs> Pardon me, some decent progress on this. Let me get this all untangled. And this is actually a rectangle blanket. I think you can see, I can't see the bottom of my screen because I have my tablet sitting in a box. But this is what I have so far. I like this. I think it looks pretty cool. And it is like soft and drapey. It's not a tight Tunisian stitched project. Like I said, here's where we started. Here's where we were at last time. So I've gone down, I've gone across, and then down. So yeah, I, I think this is turning out very interesting. <laughs> I hope the person who gets it really likes it a lot. That's my goal, is for the person to really like it a lot. So, other than that, the things that I have been doing is I read a book. It was a good book. Um, I already returned it. I read it. It was an e-book. 
and I've already returned it, but it was a really good book. And um, I did make some cookies tonight. I will try to send myself the picture and insert it, but I'd used the rest of my sugar cookies from last week. I had seven left that I didn't have enough frosting for. So this week I just covered the top with a milk chocolate, chocolate, it's not frosting, just milk chocolate. And then I put false sprinkles on it. Out of the seven, I have four left. I don't know if I will get more made tomorrow or not. I'm guessing possibly not because this tonight I made tomato soup for tomorrow. And then I have 10 pounds of mushrooms that I need to cook up this weekend to make mushroom and gravy for mushroom and Swiss burgers. Because we've been going through that stuff like really fast <laughs> here lately. But hey, it's good. What can I say? It is homemade mushroom gravy on a mushroom and Swiss burger. You can't say you get that everywhere. So anyway, it's getting kind of late. I'm kind of tired and I need some sleep. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed seeing my pot holders and the progress that I've made on the 10 stitch blanket. And that's all I have. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video.